Today marks the 100th day of COVID-19 at 19 in Alabama. All day, we've shared stories of how much has changed. Our final story tonight, social distance versus social justice. Is there a way to achieve both? At the beginning of the pandemic, it's a question hardly anyone was asking. Now, it's one of the most pressing issues in America. Months ago, scenes like this and this would have been unimaginable. The coronavirus pandemic had shut down the state, empty streets, empty parking lots. Then, I can breathe. Please, the knee of my dick. I can't move. I've been waiting the whole time. Ah. Let's get him get in the car. Mama. But forever is gone away. The death of George Floyd in Minneapolis, igniting a nationwide movement. <laughs> City. <laughs> City. Yeah, it looks like the, the wind is blowing it in a, from the east to the west. Protesters filling once empty streets. Abolish the police. Demanding people listen. Don't let innocent people keep getting killed by the cops. My fellow Alabamians, I please. Calls for social distance taking a back seat to calls for social justice. Some protesters wearing masks, others choosing not to, all standing side by side in the name of justice. But does it come with a cost? Uh, there's, to me, logic that would tell you that you will have an increase in cases due to the social protesting. Yet for those fighting to have their voices heard, they say it's necessary to bring about change. You know, you're, you're standing up for people that have been murdered, could be murdered, so. I, I, I would say maybe you're sacrificing your own health to get the message across. We are here today to get justice. I didn't feel like wearing a mask with my voice. I, I couldn't be heard. I need to be heard. Some wonder if these mass gatherings will trigger a surge in COVID-19 cases. If you're social protesting and you're not spacing yourself and you're not using a mask, everybody around you is vulnerable. So it's become a balancing act. The urge to stand up for what's right at a time when there are rules for how closely you can stand next to someone. You got to balance out what you feel as your own belief. You know, I believe the COVID is definitely real, but, but then again, you know, dying is real. People are getting murdered out here. I would say you don't need to have uh, catch COVID-19 to express uh, your opinion, regardless of whether you're going out for retailing or going out to express uh, your exercise your civil liberties. Uh, please cover your face and maintain the six foot social distancing. The pandemic and the protests colliding at a pivotal moment in US history to define a generation. We encourage you to go back and watch all of today's stories online at WKRG.com, including what we can expect over the next 100 days, ways to help struggling charities and nonprofits, and how the pandemic will impact college football in Alabama.